how do you hold your space when you're going to sleep? Okay, and what will happen a lot is, so I'm just gonna preface this by saying, I'm giving you tips and tools, and there are some of you in your dream space, you'll need to do something active, and you have a story about this, so mm -hmm. we'll talk about that in a minute. But one of the things you can do is before you sleep is say to yourself, like you basically are programming yourself, okay, so I'm not doing this, you're doing this for yourself, to say something like, and you choose the wording that works for you, if anything that's not aligned with pure source comes into my space, into my dream space, I will wake up. Mm -hmm. So basically you're commanding yourself to wake up. So because, why? Because some of you are at the point where your frequency resonance is getting strong enough so that when you're in your wake state, you know how to hold your space. You're like, get out. Mm -hmm. And you have the authority to get things out of your space. But if you're asleep, you don't quite have that. Right? So if you tell yourself that before you go to sleep, so if something before something comes into you, you wake up, you then are like, okay, wait a minute, I know what's happening, and you can push them out. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So that's another tip or that's something helpful. that you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, some of you will experience um, things in your dream space that are like teachings or like learnings f to teach you how to hold your space mm -hmm. in your dream space because you need help with boundaries, actually. And I think you have something that's uh, a story yes, around this, a couple of them. <laughs> uh, my lifelong lesson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know like for me and a lot of people um, who have issues with this, it's because you feel bad and yeah. you like everything to be nice, nice and, and you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Uh. Yeah. So I know um, a couple, maybe it was about a year ago now, mm -hmm. time's flying, but mm -hmm. a in, the pa you know, in the past, I was working on holding my space mm -hmm. with you in my waking life. Mm -hmm. um, we had IFCs and I was doing GFCs and... Yeah, there was points where I would be like waiting in line and people would literally like walk in front of me. Like, it was crazy. It, they were just in my, yeah. So I was working heavily on that. And then I would have these dreams and I would have like themes. I remember I had one in particular that came in a theme of three. Mm -hmm. And it would be some like darker entity, not like possessed per se, but mm -hmm. just like something evil, yeah, not dark, of not light. Yeah. yeah, trying to coerce me in my dream. Mm -hmm. And they were there. The lesson was I had to hold my space. Mm -hmm. One of the things they were like trying to sell me something that I didn't want, mm. and I I knew I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "But you want it." And I was like, "Well, I feel bad. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it." Mm -hmm. Like that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then boom, something bad happened. Like you know, as yeah. a result, so, and I didn't pass the test. I'm yeah. like, darn it. Yeah. So it took me three times, and they would show up in different versions. Mm -hmm. And the third one, I did it. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the details now, but I passed the test. I mm -hmm. held my space. Mm -hmm. And I've never had that dream again.